Uh, hi to everyone. So let's start. Uh, let's continue our journey through the navigational equipment. This uh, equipment here it's a radar, which is used on the border ships for collision avoidance. Mostly for collision avoidance, we can also monitor some uh, weather, sh short weather forecast, and we could use it also for uh, terrestrial navigation. So the radar basically it's our the most important part of the equipment for collision avoidance and navigation as well. Some basic things here uh, are that the radars we have on board two types of the radars, X and S band radar. They are a little bit uh, difference between them because uh, the other one have which what other one don't have. So let's say they are fulfilling each other with the operation. So let's say this here, it's X-band radar. So we will today explain X-band radar. Uh, this have, uh, he is better in the short range. So he's, uh, uh, when there is congested areas, this radar is much better to be used. And the other one is, let's say for the longer range, this S-band. So this one have, have here short waves. Uh, this will further, we will explain this one and have smaller antenna and have bigger frequency for uh, uh, for operation and that's why it's also easier to get some interference on the X-band radar and on the S-band radar on the other type of the radar he's better in the long range he's better in the S-band ra S -band radar is better in the range and it's bet and have a smaller frequency 2 to 4 gigahertz and have longer waves uh, these waves are transferred, these waves, let's uh, try to explain this thing, that uh, this uh, radar antenna, why radar antenna is rotating. Uh, first, it's sending the signals to the environment, and then when the one it's like giving the signal, and one it's receiving the signal. So you have like transmission and receiver. So the transmi transmission will transmit these waves to the to the environment and for example to this uh, object here this is some ship now we are sending the our uh, waves to the environment and our transmitter is transmitting the the waves to this here to this uh, target here and then these uh, waves are coming back when this uh, uh, antenna will rotate this uh, this uh, waves will come back to our receiver and this simply just uh, uh, calculating the time from here from us to them and time to come back so that is the distance so it will calculate the distance continuously and then also calculate uh, this it will be showed here because from here our uh, radars are coming back to our antenna so that is identified like some target so that's simply the, the let's say simply explanation how the radar works yeah so it's sending the signals to environment, they are coming back from these objects to our uh, receiver and then we have on display the target. So this is continuously, so you have the movement, so you will get the speed, so also you have the, the speed of the, uh, of the object, you will have also the course of the object because it's continuously monitored, at least tracked, yeah? so it's tracked the movement of the, of the target. So that's some simple explanation about, uh, let's say, how the radar works. Uh, radar today, it's uh, fed with a lot of other things from the other systems. So you have here the heading, which is coming from the gyro, from our gyro. So I don't know if you can you see the cursor, yeah? So here it's our gyro heading. Here it's speed. This is speed from the GPS. And... Uh, this is bottom tracking. We can always change and we must change to bottom to the water because the water must be used for collision avoidance. And this water is coming from our speed log and the other one is coming from our GPS. The course over ground is coming from the GPS, the speed over ground coming from the GPS, the position of course coming to the GPS. We have connected the echo sounder, but the depth now it's uh, very high, it's more than uh, 3000 meters, so it's not calculated, it will be not shown here. We are able to track the depths up to 800 meters. 
as well it's also our anemometer which is uh, equipment showing the, uh, the wind so it's also fed to here so radar now on in this radar we, we can see uh, what is the present the present uh, true and relative wind and also here it's as you see co present consumption we have what we have so the another things here are which we can further explain because it will be too long to explain one by one but uh, the most important is how to plot the target so we have here this target so you can uh, first let's say cancel this ta target so you have option to cancel any target or target only or AIS only because the today in this now this modern uh, navigation we have AIS it is uh, forbidden to use the AIS for collision avoidance so we must be using only targets so let's say target cancel now the so now this is this is only the ta the without AIS let's say or you can here also remove the AIS and now we have only the target without any AIS so how to plot the target just double simply double click on the target yeah double click and then we will get the the informations and these are radar information so this this what we have now it's uh, only calculated by our radar so this is the true true movements of this vessel because we can as well use the AIS which is automatic identification system but this AIS it's sending this uh, information to us so we are not uh, we are not calculating by our equipment on board because AIS is just what uh, other vessel is sending to you and uh, the the uh, the real the real one it must be always target so it's very easy just uh, two times to click left click on the target and here you will then uh, get some information here so which normally which information we are getting it's bearing so we have bearing to this vessel 206 how far is this vessel from us that, that is means range the target course over ground so that means that uh, the true course of the vessel which is uh, on our port side uh, true course of the of the of the target or target speed over ground cpa means closest point of approach so that means that how the minimum distance from this vessel when it will be passing to us TCPA means time of crossing, time of closest point of approach, and uh, this is like bow crossing range. What this bow crossing range means? This vessel is gonna cross our bow, to means pass forward of our vessel, or if it's minus, that means that uh, no, that means that we are passing ahead of him. If it's minus, that means that this vessel will be uh, pass ahead of us. Uh, then uh, this is. Uh, time yeah Bo time to cross the bow so it's uh, like longer than 100 minutes so that's why showing like this but this uh, target it's uh, slightly faster than us and then uh, it's just showing this informations but uh, normally this is always changing so we have to monitor the most important thing is uh, CPA and time so you have to monitor always and we have some rules about uh, minimum CPA and uh, time to react so normally the radar we have to use only for collision avoidance uh, without AIS that means that AIS it's only for informations because AIS it's coming from the other vessel the most important thing is to plot this vessel on time or any object to plot on time and to take the action to avoid collision on time as well so this is incorporated complete uh, and short explanation because there is a lot of other things which we can uh, talk about there are some uh, different motions uh, course up north up head up uh, relative motion through motion there is some uh, things which we have to always uh, monitor like uh, performance monitoring unit that means that here uh, we have to daily check eight six times a daily on the watch we have to check uh, every watch at least one must check performance of the monitor and it's very simple to get these uh, readings here so 
we have to what I was talking before this TX and RX that means transmitting and receiving power and these decibels are the performance of uh, of uh, our radar uh, this magnetron is the new one and it's you can see it uh, clearly and uh, very good uh, performance we have to monitor this is a receiver power that means the first one and the last one it's the 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 furthest what what we what uh, the radar is able to to identify precisely so let's say this is uh, short and any further you are always welcome to ask and uh, i will give my best answer to you so thank you so much let's only shortly add this um, about uh, variable range markers and ebl line so these are the our tools navigational tools to quickly establish some uh, navigational situational awareness so this uh, variable range marker it means that we can uh, measure the distance automatically here so we don't need to plot anything so for example to this vessel here we will automatically just touch this uh, target and we can read this uh, this distance what is shown here yes more or less yes it must be the same and this uh, range uh, i mean uh, uh, bearing line it's our bearing to this vessel so this is for quick quick uh, navigational tool so this one it's if you so you don't need to plot let's say this uh, this targets if there is a lot of targets you can get some quickly situational awareness because this uh, if the bearings are not changing that means that there is a collision uh, uh, danger if the bearing it's getting uh, smaller that means that we are cross crossing ahead of this vessel if the bearing is getting uh, bigger that means that this vessel will pass uh, us ahead of us so this is some short uh, explanation about these two things and uh, of course we have also here par parallel indexing that means that uh, we can plot to some uh, steady course uh, to study some coastlines or some uh, jetties or some uh, small islands we can uh, make a parallel index uh, to this uh, so just to have the let's say the distance passing clear from this uh, from this uh, uh, island or some other targets so so this just to add these uh, few things